two. 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 All right. Okay. So we want to do 11.4 number oh, seven. Yes. And can one of you guys read this for me appropriately? And some of you were asking how you even say this business. <laughs> Log base ten. So, I'm with the log base 10, right? And it's a kind of an implied base 10, right? Because they didn't write it. Of, to the fourth root? Of the fourth root? Of 10. Of 10. You guys see that? Yes. Okay, now how do I evaluate log base 10 of the fourth root of 10? I could use a calculator. However, I do not, in fact, need to. So, so what is the log base 10 question? Is it 10 to the x is equal to the fourth root of 10? Yeah. So this thing's asking what power of 10 is this thing, right? Yes. So can I write that thing, right, the fourth root of 10? Can I write that as a power of 10? Is it one fourth? One yeah, that's the one quarter power. So what's the answer? X is equal to one quarter. Yeah, there's not even an X. It's just one quarter. That thing, right? Log base 10 of the fourth root of 10 is a quarter. Because I think about this thing, right, as 10 to the one quarter power. And then this thing just asks, hey, what's the power on 10 there? Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. Questions? So if I want to put it in the calculator, how would I do that? So if you want to put it in the calculator, I definitely would need to put the log button, right? Yeah. Okay. Should we make this happen? We can make the dot cam work. Yeah. Whoa. That's pointed at someone right now. And now the camera's getting all twisty. This is good. Okay. Calculator? Oh. Here. Wait, no. Okay, so we have Story's fancy calculator here. Aww. We need to zoom out on a little bit. Oh, actually, can I have a dumb calculator? The backlight's not great. Somebody got a dumb calculator? Cool. All right. Here we have the classic TI-80 whatever way too expensive calculator. If I want to fit this thing in there, how do I do that? Press the log button. Okay, I definitely need the log button, and that's this one? Yeah. Yeah? What's the other log button do? 2.7. Yeah, that does base E. Okay, so we push the log button. Press that there math button. And now I want, I want a fourth root, right? <coughs> yeah. Right. But so, super specific. Set, oh yeah. Or you can have the math. Math. Is it under the math button? Yeah, the math button down to number five. Okay, so if I slide down to number five, See, that's what I then it's going to ask, and I should put a four, and then how do you get to the other arrow down? Hey, cool, look at that. And then what do I put in here? Ten. Ten? <laughs> and then you can stop there. You could end it with the parentheses. Should you? No, no, no. Oh, you have to push. Oh, now you have to press now Wait. Press How do I get back? Back. Um, arrow back. Delete. 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 Don't press clear. Arrow over. There you yeah. go. Parentheses. Then parentheses? Yes. Don't you don't need the close parentheses. Push enter. Yeah. Cool. We've got a quarter. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. Yay, neat. The TI-83 does not probably have the smart it button. Doesn't. Yeah, so if you don't have the smart button, right, if you have a TI-83, under math, there's not that option, right? Well, there is that option, but it's just not there. It doesn't let you, like, how that one put two boxes, for it just has an X. What you have to do is you put the number, then you put the math button, then you push the uh, X square root, and it'll take the number. And the yeah, here, let me see. Uh, okay, so on a TI-83, because I cannot do this, I have to do log. <laughs> and then under math, if I scroll down to the, I'm gonna be standing way too close to that. That's gonna be super fun. <laughs> it's gonna be like video of right here. 
Okay, so if I put this button in there, it doesn't give me access to the little box, right? Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to put the power first. Uh, and I pushed second, so I'm going to push insert. Oh. So that you oh. can put the four in there. Oh. And then scoot over. <laughs> and do ten. Close the... I haven't yet. Okay. Yeah. So what I would advise for button pushing order is that you push log, and then you know you want a four. Yeah. So I'd put the four, then go into the math button, find the little funny root thing. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Questions on that? Okay. You good? I have a really, really dumb calculator. <laughs> okay, and if you have a really, really dumb calculator, then you'll probably want to do 4 through to 10 first, then log the result. If you have a really, really dumb calculator, you'll want to take 10 and raise it to the 1 quarter power, and then log the result. If you end up doing that, it is, in fact, much better to just notice that once you've got a 10 to the 1 quarter, you know the answer. <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> What's that? Stone tablets. If you have stone tablets, what you're going to want to do <laughs> go down to is draw, draw a four-dimensional cube that's 10 on each side. I don't know. <laughs> 